In recent years, there's been a lot of discussion about how artificial intelligence AI is going to replace much of the workforce, maybe over half of the workforce. Whether or not you believe this, certainly data analysts have not been immune from this discussion. So let's look at how likely this is. Is AI going to replace the data analyst job and should you get out while you can? While it's true that AI is capable of automating a lot of the routine data analyst tasks, this doesn't mean that I think data analysts are going to be obsolete anytime soon. Let's look at a few reasons why. If you're new here, I'm Jen. We talk about analytics and analytics careers here on this channel, and you can always find resources to help you on those topics down in the video descriptions. Let's look at two big reasons why AI isn't going to replace data analysts. The first reason is contextual understanding. Good data analysts have a deep understanding of the context in which the data is generated and utilized. They know how to ask the right questions and use data to solve specific problems. Being able to ask good questions is a critical skill and it's something that falls heavily within the analytical thinking context of skills, which most employers are saying are in their top five desired skills for any of their employees. Contextual understanding is extremely important for good decision making. Without context, you may make a decision that's not a good one. Without those relevant connection points, you could draw conclusions that may or may not be the right conclusions to draw and drive actions that may or may not be the right ones to drive. Over time, will AI get better at this? Probably so, but one of the challenges is making it tailored enough to each specific problem that it can also help you figure out what the question to ask is. This tends to be one of the biggest challenges around analytics. I can Google how to write code to solve a specific problem. I could ask AI to generate the code for me. In fact, I've talked about no-code analytics in the past and how I think they're an awesome option for many people. But what I can't do is get a very clear answer on my very specific problem. What is the question I should be asking and what are all of the different specific relevant factors I should be considering? That's contextual understanding. And that's where good data analysts differentiate themselves from people that are really just coders or people that know the tools but don't understand the thought process behind solving problems. Contextual understanding runs throughout the analytics process. Yes, it's figuring out what the right questions to ask are, but it's also helping figure out what's important to the business, making sure that we understand what the business is really trying to solve. It's understanding what data sources we're going to use and why we should use those data sources. It's understanding what maybe additional sources of data or other factors people aren't asking for that we should incorporate in solving our problem. It's how we explain our answers back to the business, give context back to the organization, help them drive better decisions. That's where real data analysts, really good data analysts bring a lot of value. And that's where if you focus over time in your career, you'll tend to see more growth in your career. People will depend on you more. You're more likely to get promoted. Those types of skills are incredibly valuable for data analysts to bring to the table. This bleeds over into the other reason why AI isn't going to replace data analysts anytime soon, and that's creativity. Contextual understanding is important and asking a question is, is important. Part of asking good questions is that creativity of what questions should I ask? Is there another angle that I should look at this problem for? really digging into what is the business problem that you're trying to solve, not just the problem you're being asked to solve. Making sure that you're creative in how you give information back, that you're telling good stories around your data, that you're visualizing it in ways that are meaningful, that you're creating that context around it. These really aren't independent things. You can have context without creativity and you can have creativity without context, but really combining the two, those are very powerful assets that you bring as a data analyst to the job. And these are skills, techniques, knowledge that will be very hard to develop into some of the algorithmic 
processes that we have into the AI solutions. So look at AI as a way to supplement on some of the more mundane tasks, um, some of the coding tasks perhaps that you can utilize to generate some of your basic code. But as you get more and more complex, the intervention that you provide as a person is going to make much more of a difference. While I'm not worried about AI replacing data analysts and many experts in the field aren't either, there is a place to incorporate AI. And in fact, you probably will get a little bit left behind as a data analyst if you don't start utilizing some of these tools that are out there. The same discussion is not a new discussion. While the data analyst title might be relatively new within the past 15 to 20 years. Before that, we called them statisticians. And the fact that statisticians maybe did regression analysis by hand at one point, and then it was computerized, and then we added tools that, that do it even faster, that doesn't mean we've replaced the core of that person. We maybe have changed the workflow, and I see AIs doing the same thing. It's going to supplement, it's going to make us faster at certain things, but it doesn't replace the value add. If you want me to talk more about AI and how it interacts with the data analyst roles, maybe where you should focus to help build out those skills, either as a current data analyst or somebody that's aspiring to be a data analyst or business analyst in the future, let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching.